Astronaut Lisa Nowak driving halfway across the country, allegedly wearing diapers. NASA says it has come up with a new way to provide drinking water for crew members in space. In the vast expanse of the universe, mysteries lie hidden among the stars. For decades, NASA has pushed the boundaries of human knowledge, exploring unknown and unraveling the secrets of our universe. But could there still be some secrets that the controversial agency is hiding from the world? And how exactly did such highly classified information find its way into the public domain? Join us as we uncover the top 10 NASA secrets accidentally leaked to the public. Number 10, Columbia Disaster. The Columbia Disaster traced into the collective memory of space exploration happened with heart-wrenching drama and profound consequences. Seven lives were tragically lost, but the impact of this event resounded far beyond the immediate loss. It marked the first time since the Challenger disaster in 1986 that a space shuttle had been lost with crew aboard during flight. As Columbia soared into the heavens on that fateful February day in 2003, it carried the hopes of a mission packed with scientific endeavors. The crew, comprising Commander Rick Husband, Pilot William McCool, Mission Specialists Michael Anderson, Kalpana Chawla, David Brown, and Payload Commander Michael Clark, along with Payload Specialist Ilan Ramon from Israel, embarked on a journey to service the iconic Hubble Space Telescope. This heart-wrenching event drew haunting parallels with a prior disaster that occurred 17 years earlier involving the Challenger. In that tragic episode, shortly after liftoff, the Challenger met a similar fate, disintegrating in a devastating explosion. The root cause was likely traced back to a faulty O-ring seal on one of the solid rocket boosters. While these tragedies are undoubtedly forbidding chapters in NASA's history, they underscore the vital importance of transparency. Despite the agency's reluctance to be associated with such headline-making disasters, it remains crucial for the public to be informed. Such awareness drives advocacy for careful spacecraft testing and increased safety measures for future missions. The mission, STS-107, was carefully planned to extend the telescope's capabilities and deepen our understanding of the cosmos. Among the planned tasks, was the installation of the Advanced Camera for Surveys, a cutting-edge instrument designed to peer deeper into the universe than ever before. However, tragedy struck during re-entry, as Columbia, traveling at over Mach 20, began experiencing structural failures due to damage sustained during liftoff. A piece of foam insulation from the shuttle's external fuel tank had struck the left wing during launch, damaging the warm protection system. This critical breach allowed burning hot gases to penetrate the shuttle during re-entry, leading to catastrophic structural failure, the disintegration of the artificial satellite, and the loss of life. The loss of Columbia and her crew prompted a global outpouring of grief and triggered a rigorous investigation into the root causes of the disaster. This investigation revealed not only technical flaws, but also systemic issues within NASA's safety culture and decision-making processes. In the wake of the tragedy, NASA underwent a comprehensive overhaul of safety protocols and embarked on a journey of self-examination and reform. The agency's commitment to safety was reaffirmed, and lessons learned from the Columbia disaster continue to shape the future of human spaceflight. Number 9. Hubble Fail the saga of the Hubble Space Telescope's blunder and redemption is a captivating tale of human ingenuity amidst astronomical challenges. Imagine a giant of modern engineering, the Hubble Space Telescope, poised to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. Yet, lurking in the depths of its complex construction, lay a tiny flaw that threatened to damage its entire purpose. The Hubble, affectionately named after the pioneering astronomer Edwin Hubble, was launched into orbit aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery in April 1990. Its mission is to look into the depths of space with unparalleled clarity, capturing images of distant galaxies, clouds, and heavenly occurrences. However, soon after its deployment, 
Astronomers were shocked to discover that the images returned by the telescope were disappointingly unclear, relating to staring through a dark window rather than the crystal clear lens of discovery they had anticipated. Investigation into the cause of this optical irregularity revealed a critical error in the fabrication of one of the telescope's primary mirrors. Imagine the painstaking precision required to craft a mirror measuring 2.4 meters in diameter to within a fraction of the width of a human hair, only to have it damaged by a little miscalculation. The mirror's angle, intended to precisely focus incoming light, had been misshapen during the manufacturing process, rendering it incompatible with the telescope's optical system. As news of Hubble's blurry vision spread, public outcry mounted. Critics questioned the wisdom of investing billions of taxpayer dollars in a project seemingly doomed to failure. However, rather than succumbing to defeat, NASA rallied its brightest minds to find a solution. A daring plan was designed to send a team of astronauts to Hubble's location in the activity area, armed with a suite of specialized tools and replacement components. This audacious repair mission, dubbed Servicing Mission 1, marked a watershed moment in space exploration history. Astronauts braved the vacuum of space to perform complicated repairs, relating to performing delicate surgery on a patient hovering 380 miles above Earth. With surgical precision, astronauts replaced the flawed mirror with a corrective lens, similar to fitting a pair of glasses to restore the telescope's vision. Additionally, a series of tiny mirrors were attached to the telescope's interior to compensate for the optical corrections introduced by the faulty primary mirror. The success of servicing Mission 1 breathed new life into the Hubble Space Telescope, transforming it from a symbol of failure into a sign of resilience and triumph. Subsequent observations conducted by the revitalized telescope yielded a treasure trove of groundbreaking discoveries, from identifying distant exoplanets to measuring the universe's rate of expansion. Number 8. Star-Crossed Lovers In the record of space exploration, where every mission balances on the edge of the unknown, the tale of William, Lisa, and Colleen stands out as evidence of the weakness of human relationships in the face of cosmic wonder. As they soared among the stars aboard the Space Shuttle Discovery in 2006, the trio of astronauts experienced not only the breathtaking beauty of the cosmos, but also the violent whirlwind of emotions that often accompanies prolonged separation. Lisa Nowak, a decorated astronaut with an illustrious career, found herself drawn to William, her colleague in the vast expanse of space. Their fleeting romance bloomed against the backdrop of distant galaxies, pushed by the intensity of their shared experiences. However, upon their return to Earth, the weight of gravity bore down upon them, unraveling the delicate threads of their connection. William, perhaps seeking comfort from the disorienting transition back to terrestrial life, found companionship in Colleen Shipman, a fellow servicewoman. Their bond, forged in the crucible of shared service and sacrifice, blossomed into a new chapter of his life, a chapter that would soon collide with Lisa's unresolved feelings. The saga took a bizarre turn when Lisa, consumed by jealousy and desperation, embarked on a cross-country journey to confront Colleen. Dressed in adult diapers to eliminate any interruptions to her mission, Lisa's determination knew no bounds. Her actions, while fueled by a potent mix of emotions, bordered on the strange, capturing the attention of the nation and the world. Yet, amidst the sensational headlines and courtroom drama, the true complexity of human nature emerged. Lisa's intentions, covered by layers of emotion and circumstance, remained a subject of debate. Was she driven by a desire for revenge, a yearning for closure, or simply a misguided attempt to reclaim what she had lost? As the legal proceedings spread out, the public clamored for answers, grappling with the intricacies of love, obsession, and the limits of empathy. In the end, the verdict offered little resolution, leaving behind a lingering sense of unease and disbelief. Upon reaching her destination, Lisa unleashed her anger 
splashing Colleen with pepper spray. The aftermath? Lisa found herself behind bars, facing serious charges of attempted harm and abduction. Yet, she insisted her intentions were merely to intimidate Colleen. However, the contents of Lisa's vehicle painted a different picture. A chilling arrangement of tools including latex gloves, rubber tubing, a hammer, and even a butcher's blade. Despite Colleen's fright and the damning evidence, justice was not fully served. Lisa received a relatively lenient sentence of two days in jail and a year of probation after admitting to felony breaking in an evil deed. Thus ended a saga of love, jealousy, and the mysterious depths of human emotion set against the backdrop of the cosmos. Number 7. Space Strike In the record of space history, the Space Strike of 1973 stands out as a remarkable moment of disobedience and negotiation between astronauts and the formidable NASA institution. But what led to this dramatic showdown in the stars? Before the strike, the astronauts of Skylab 4 had endured an incredibly demanding training administrating on Earth. They were pushed to their limits physically, mentally, and emotionally, preparing for the challenges that awaited them in the vast vacuum of space. However, nothing could fully prepare them for the relentless schedule they would face once aboard the Skylab. The mission itself was ambitious, spanning a staggering 84 days, a duration unmatched at the time. The crew members, all first-time astronauts, found themselves sent into an intense work environment where they were expected to perform tasks with precision and focus for 16 hours a day, every day. This tiring routine left little time for personal needs, let alone the opportunity to appreciate the cosmic wonders surrounding them. Moreover, the conditions aboard the Skylab were far from luxurious. The living quarters were tight, and everyday activities such as eating and sleeping had to be carefully planned within the tight home of the space station. The astronauts were essentially living in a confined metal tube, flying through the infinite void of space, with no escape from the pressures of their mission. As the days passed, tensions among the crew began to rise. Despite their training and dedication to the mission, they found themselves physically and mentally drained, asking for a pardon from the relentless schedule imposed upon them by NASA. The breaking point came when Mission Control dismissed their pleas for a more sustainable work schedule, insisting that they continue to abide by the demanding routine. Faced with this stubborn response, the astronauts made a bold decision. They turned off all communication with Mission Control, effectively staging a strike in the vast expanse of space. For a full day, they took the time they so desperately needed to rest, to reflect, and to regain their strength. The silence that enveloped the Skylab spoke volumes. It was a symbolic gesture of disobedience, a reminder that even in the boundless reaches of space, the human spirit could not be suppressed. And when communication was eventually restored, NASA was forced to reckon with the undeniable resolve of its astronauts. The negotiations that followed were proof of the power of unity and determination. Ultimately, a compromise was reached, granting the crew members the pardon they had fought so hard for. The remainder of their mission was conducted with a renewed sense of balance, allowing them to fulfill their duties while also tending to their own well-being. Number 6. Operation Paperclip Operation Paperclip is a secret endeavor that left a great mark on the landscape of post-World War II history. Born out of the troubled aftermath of the conflict, Operation Paperclip, also known as Project Overcast, unfolded between 1945 and 1959 with a singular goal, to equip the scientific genius of German and Austrian mines and transplant it onto American soil, thereby securing a strategic advantage in the expanding Cold War era. The backdrop against which this audacious scheme unfolded was one of unprecedented global disruption. Europe lay in ruins, its cities reduced to wreckage, and its population struggling with the scars of war. Yet, amid the devastation, the United States emerged as a place of hope, offering not only aid and reconstruction, but also the promise of a brighter future built on the pillars of innovation and progress. 
Operation Paperclip was, in many ways, a microcosm of the larger geopolitical chess game playing out between the United States and the Soviet Union. As tensions rose between the two superpowers, each vying for supremacy on the world stage, the quest for scientific superiority became a paramount objective. Recognizing the potential strategic advantage of recruiting German and Austrian scientists, many of whom were pioneers in fields such as rocketry, aerodynamics, and nuclear physics, the United States embarked on a secret mission to lure these individuals away from war-torn Europe and into the embrace of the American scientific establishment. The recruitment process itself was proof of the ingenuity and resourcefulness of American intelligence agencies. Under the guise of humanitarian aid and academic exchange programs, private operatives wiped Europe for top scientific talent, offering them the promise of lucrative employment opportunities, academic freedom, and, perhaps most importantly, a fresh start far from the shadows of their wartime loyalties. Among the most desired recruits were figures like Werner von Braun, whose pioneering work in rocketry had propelled Nazi Germany to the forefront of military technology. Von Braun's journey from a controversial figure within the Third Reich to a celebrated visionary in the American space program exemplified the complex moral calculus at the heart of Operation Paperclip. Yet, for all its ambitions and achievements, Operation Paperclip was not without its controversies and difficulties. Questions arose about the extent to which former Nazi scientists were held accountable for their wartime actions and allegiances, and whether their contributions to the American scientific enterprise justified overlooking their past crimes. Moreover, the legacy of Operation Paperclip extended far beyond the realm of science and technology, shaping the cultural and political landscape of post-war America. The arrival of European scientists brought with it a wave of intellectual diversity and cross-cultural exchange, enriching American society and contributing to its status as a global place of innovation and discovery. Number 5. Blob Growing on the ISS A remarkable incident spread out aboard the International Space Station ISS in October 2023 revealing a mystery that awakened the curiosity of scientists and space enthusiasts worldwide. The event unfolded during a routine inspection when Russian spaceman Oleg Kono embarked on an extravehicular activity EVA to address a detected leak in the station's backup radiator. Kono, a seasoned spacefarer at 59 years old, put on his spacesuit and ventured into the vacuum of space, prepared to troubleshoot the irregularity. As he ventured outside the protective environment of the ISS, he encountered a sight that defied expectations. Approaching the radiator panel, he was met with a perplexing sight. A series of irregular holes punctured the metallic surface. The discovery left him momentarily stunned, his mind racing with questions about the origin of these mysterious holes. Despite the wonderful, inspiring backdrop of Earth, suspended in the vastness of space, his attention was focused on unraveling the enigma before him. Not shaken by the unexpected turn of events, he diligently set about his task, utilizing specialized tools to contain the leaking fluids and prevent further damage to the station. However, as he worked, an unforeseen twist added a new layer of intrigue to the situation. A peculiar drop, resembling air filter, drifted into view, casting a supernatural brightness against the backdrop of the universe. Its presence raised new questions about the nature of the abnormality and its potential implications for the ISS and its crew. Communicating his findings to Mission Control in Moscow, he relayed the strange sequence of events unfolding in the vacuum of space. With each passing moment, the urgency of the situation became increasingly clear prompting Mission Control to issue a directive for his immediate return to the safety of the ISS. As he reluctantly complied with the command, he couldn't shake the sense of wonder and bewilderment that accompanied his otherworldly encounter. In the days that followed, scientists, engineers, and space agencies around the globe mobilized to investigate the abnormality and unravel its mysteries. Analyzing measuring data and conducting simulations, 
they sought to piece together the puzzle of the whole radiator panel and the enigmatic drop that had captured the imagination of the world. With each new revelation, the boundaries of our understanding of space were pushed further, underscoring the infinite complexities that await exploration beyond the confines of our planet. Number 4. Challenger Cover-Up A troubling incident occurred in 1986, where the skies held both promise and danger for the crew of the space shuttle Challenger. On that fateful January 28th, the world watched with high breath as the Challenger, carrying seven brave souls, including Krista McAuliffe, a teacher selected to inspire generations through space, soared into the heavens. The mission was not just a scientific endeavor, but a beacon of hope, aiming to ignite the flames of curiosity and learning in the hearts of children worldwide. As the Challenger roared into the sky, its ascent seemed to advocate a new era of exploration. Yet in a cruel twist of fate, disaster struck little moments later. The once proud vessel flares up into a flaming spectacle, disintegrating before the eyes of millions. Shock and disbelief rippled across the globe as the extent of the tragedy happened. Initial reports from NASA pointed to a catastrophic failure in the shuttle's O-rings, a crucial component in the rocket boosters. These reports suggested that the crew may have lost consciousness due to a sudden loss of cabin pressure, offering an explanation amidst the chaos. They also attributed the disaster to the crew losing consciousness due to a cabin pressure issue. However, subsequent investigations revealed a different, more troubling reality. It appeared that the astronauts were likely fully conscious and aware of the impending disaster. Moreover, it was uncovered that NASA had overlooked crucial safety measures and failed to ensure the spacecraft's readiness for flight. However, as investigations deepened, darker truths began to emerge. It was soon revealed that NASA had been aware of potential issues with the O-rings prior to launch, but concerns were dismissed in favor of maintaining the mission schedule. Moreover, evidence surfaced suggesting that engineers had warned of the dangers posed by launching in cold weather conditions. Yet these warnings did not follow. The subsequent inquiry by the Rogers Commission uncovered a series of systemic failures within NASA's safety protocols. Shockingly, it was disclosed that crucial safety checks had been bypassed and the shuttle's launch had proceeded without proper authorization from key personnel. As the truth unraveled, public trust in NASA was shattered, and a casket of sorrow hung over the spacefaring community. In the aftermath of the tragedy, reforms were approved within NASA, ushering in an era of heightened vigilance and accountability. The memory of those lost aboard the Challenger serves as both a tribute to their courage and a cautionary tale for future generations of explorers. Number 3. Astronauts Drink Astronauts, those fearless explorers of the final frontier face a lot of challenges while venturing beyond the territory of Earth's atmosphere. One such challenge is the scarcity of essential resources, particularly water, in the harsh environment of space. Imagine the human body requires a significant amount of water to function properly and in the microgravity environment of the International Space Station ISS, where fluid distribution in the body differs from that on Earth. Maintaining proper hydration is paramount. Yet, transporting vast quantities of water to space is not a feasible option due to the huge costs and logistical challenges involved. NASA's ingenious solution, the Water Recovery System, WRS. This state-of-the-art system, a wonder of modern engineering, is responsible for recycling nearly 93% of the water used by astronauts on the ISS, including urine, sweat, and even moisture from blown out breath. When an astronaut relieves them, the urine is collected and processed through a series of advanced processing and purification techniques. Initially, the urine undergoes a mechanical separation process to remove any solid waste particles. It is treated with a special chemical solution to eliminate harmful bacteria and viruses. But the journey from urine to drinkable water doesn't end there. The purified liquid 
then enters the distillation phase, where it is heated and vaporized, leaving behind impurities such as salts, minerals, and other contaminants. This heat is then condensed back into a liquid form, resulting in pure, clean water ready for consumption. Remarkably, this recycled water undergoes rigorous testing and analysis to ensure it meets the strict safety standards set by NASA and other space agencies. Additionally, astronauts' urine isn't the only source of water on the ISS. Water is also recovered from various other sources, such as the atmosphere, as vapor from the astronauts' sweat and respiration, and even from the fuel cells used to generate electricity on the spacecraft. Furthermore, this technology has practical applications beyond space exploration. On Earth, similar water recycling systems could be implemented in dry regions or during emergency situations where access to clean water is limited. Thus, the humble act of drinking recycled urine in space represents a remarkable coming together of innovation, necessity, and environmental management. Number 2. Apollo 1 Fire the Apollo 1 fire, a critical moment in space exploration history, happened amidst the backdrop of the intense Cold War rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union. With the space race at its peak, NASA was under immense pressure to showcase American technological power by landing humans on the moon. In the lead-up to the ill-fated test, engineers had raised concerns about the safety of the spacecraft's design. The command module, filled with a pure oxygen atmosphere to simulate conditions in space, created a highly explosive environment. This decision, coupled with the presence of fireproof materials within the area of study, would prove catastrophic. As the astronauts underwent their pre-flight procedures, a seemingly harmless electrical short below one of the footrests triggered a chain reaction that consumed the command module in flames. Despite the courageous efforts of ground crew members to rescue the trapped astronauts, the design of the spacecraft's door made escape impossible. The astronauts aboard Apollo 1, Gus Grissom, Edward White, and Roger Chaffee were seasoned veterans, each bringing a wealth of experience and expertise to the mission. Grissom, known for his earlier Mercury and Gemini missions, was a revered figure in the astronaut corps. White had made history as the first American to conduct a spacewalk during the Gemini 4 mission, while Chaffee, a talented pilot, was embarking on his first spaceflight. The ill-fated pre-flight test on January 27, 1967, was intended to affect conditions for the upcoming Apollo mission. However, a series of design flaws and operational oversights proved to be fatal. The spacecraft's interior was pressurized with pure oxygen, a decision made to copy the conditions of space, but one that tragically turned the cabin into a highly flammable environment. As the fire erupted inside the command module, temperatures soared to over 2,000 degrees within seconds. Tragically, the spacecraft's inward opening hatch, designed for simplicity, became a huge barrier for the trapped astronauts. In the aftermath of this harrowing event, the space agency faced intense questioning and public outcry. Demands for rigorous design and engineering reforms echoed far and wide as the world grappled with the sobering reality of the dangers inherent in space exploration. Moreover, the investigation that ensued uncovered systemic issues within NASA's culture and operations, shedding light on overlooked safety concerns and governmental red tape that had potentially endangered countless lives prior to the Apollo 1 disaster. In the wake of this sobering wake-up call, NASA emerged transformed, weak by the lessons learned from the Apollo 1 fire. The agency's commitment to excellence and safety was reaffirmed, paving the way for the successful missions that followed and cementing the legacy of Grissom, White, and Chaffee as explorers who gave their lives in pursuit of humanity's greatest frontier. Number 1. Rival Space Threats In a dramatic turn of events similar to that of a Cold War-era underwork thriller, a collection of highly classified documents from United States intelligence agencies recently found its way into the hands of the Washington Post.
dated April 27, 2023. These documents offer a tantalizing glimpse into the inner workings of modern geopolitics, with a specific focus on the expansion of the empire of space-based warfare. The documents underscored the United States' apprehensions regarding the utilization of these advancements by other nations, particularly China, in bolstering their military and defense capabilities. Of particular concern was China's demonstrated capacity to pose a threat to the United States and allied space assets. This development has raised alarms within the U.S. intelligence community, prompting a thorough examination of the potential ramifications. Among the revelations contained within these leaked files is a clear acknowledgement of the escalating tensions surrounding the militarization of space. As technological advancements propel humanity ever closer to the stars, the spirit of conflict looms large over the cosmos. The United States, long considered a pioneer in space exploration, now finds itself grappling with the unsettling prospect of rival nations making use of similar capabilities for potentially wicked purposes. At the heart of these concerns lies the formidable rise of China as a spacefaring superpower. With its rapid technological rise, China has emerged as a formidable contender in the race for space supremacy. The leaked documents paint a clear picture of United States officials struggling with the implications of China's increasingly confident posture in revolution. A particular note is China's demonstrated capacity to target United States and allied space assets, thereby posing a significant threat to America's strategic interests. This revelation has sent shockwaves through Washington. Moreover, the leaked documents shed light on the complicated interplay between geopolitics and technological innovation. In an age where space-based assets track everything from communication networks to global navigation systems, the stakes have never been higher. Of the potential consequences of unchecked escalation in space. As policymakers, strategists, and defense analysts pour over the details contained within these leaked documents, one thing becomes abundantly clear. The era of space warfare is no longer a distant possibility, but a clear reality. The race to secure the high ground of revolution has begun in earnest, with the fate of nations hanging in the balance. In the coming years, the world will bear witness to a new frontier of conflict, one where the stars themselves serve as both battleground and prize. Which one of these top 10 restricted NASA secrets that accidentally leaked to the public did you find the most intriguing? Share your thoughts and comments below.